My name is Vasilis Kumbaros. I was born in uh, Greece. I raised up in uh, Greek, uh, from a Greek family, which uh, we learned how to eat and drink uh, Greek food. I studied uh, Greek uh, food and beverage. I worked in restaurants. I worked in hotels all my life. So in 2000, I decided to come in in the United States, in America, for a better living, a better life. So I came here to show how authentic and how all my knowledge that I know to come and practice it here in uh, America. Which I started uh, my life in, in 2000 from uh, Buffalo, New York. I worked in a restaurant for five years over there, a Greek restaurant. And then I came uh, vacation in Florida and I fall in love uh, with the place, with Miami, with Orlando, with all entire Florida in the name of the Greek weather that we have in the islands. So I decided to come in here and stay here and stay the rest of my life here, which I got very lucky. I met my wife, uh, we got married in 2009, and now we have three kids, and we have a very successful uh, Greek restaurant. Taverna Opa, it's a combination between two things, good food and great entertainment. You come in here, you eat authentic Greek food from back all our knowledges that we learn from grandma, from mothers, to parents, to family, or hospitality. And then you all that, combine it with a, an, a good atmosphere. You celebrate, you have a feast. You, besides, uh, you celebrate a birthday or anything special. Every day there is a celebration here. You don't need to have a birthday, you don't need to have uh, anniversary, you just come in here, you want to leave from your ordinary uh, everyday routine, you come in here, you have a good feeling. You have a great food and you celebrate. We celebrate, we have uh, great music, we have uh, belly dancers, we have people dancing on tables. So imagine, you know, you're sitting up in a table right now, you have a great food and then you go, oh, let's go and dance. I don't know if you've seen the movie Big Fat Greek Wedding, that we show to the American, you know, how Greek life is. You know, we're not just to eat it nice and quiet and, you know, go home and sleep. No, we're here, we're, we're very active people. We're here very energetic. We here want to show our spirit, you know, that you eat food and then you dance, you come here, you go there, loud people. So it's not, a, it's not a quiet place that you can eat like a French cuisine or something different. We are here different. We are here creative, we are here uh, alive. So this is our restaurant. So we're here to show you good food and great entertainment. Well, it's a Greek tradition back in the days to uh, have a good uh, big festive with breaking plates. I don't know if you've seen the old movies that we break a lot of plates. So when we started doing that, people, you know, didn't know how to break the plates. So somebody came up with the idea with the napkins. So that's why I want to show you the Greek culture were messy. You know, some people come in at the end of the night of the restaurant and you cannot see the floor because of the napkins that we throw at the, the restaurant. And everybody thinks that it comes in from the ceiling. We're just throwing instead of breaking the plates. Opa! Well, I never thought in my life that uh, I'm going to like, besides chef, I'm going to like cooking. I was a young boy, eating, playing, you know, having a good time, but that was it. <clears throat> Slowly, slowly, I was invited to families and uh, all my cousins and all my friends, they were playing with each other. I don't know why or how I used to be the only boy being in the kitchen with my aunts, my mothers, my older friends, all the ladies inside the kitchen watching them, you know, preparing food. And then slowly, slowly I said, you know, you know, why I like, you know, to eat or why, what is that, you know? I finished school and so I said, let me go to the hotel business where they have food, where they have the hospitality. So I start cooking at the hotels and then creative, you know, from what I learned from back home. And I, I remember back in the days, if I closed my eyes, I was in my, my aunt's house. You know, I was, you know, stirring the rice, uh, looking how they, they make the grape leaves, the stuff with rice and all those things, all those good things, you know. And I was very, very proud and happy to be back in the kitchen. And slowly, slowly, I grew up, you know, I liked doing that. Um, I started working in a Greek restaurants. And um, cooking for me, it's 
not a passion only, but it's a feeling. You know, everybody can give you a recipe and everybody can mix it. The one that really feels the ingredients, feels how to cook, is the one that's gonna make the difference. We say in Greece, uh, it's the way you breathe, it's the way you stir, you have to feel everything. So I believe I'm very happy, very successful on that part. Like I can be very creative. I have a, a, a contact feeling with the ingredients that I cook in the restaurant here, with any restaurant. So that's a very good thing for me, which I'm very proud. I want to make sure all my staff, all my kitchen staff, they're uh, following all the recipes, they're following all the techniques that I show them. I'm on, on, on the hands of every cooking that's uh, being creative in the uh, back of the area. Make sure everything is nice, uh, you know, clean, uh, organized. And then um, around six o'clock or seven o'clock, which we start, I'm front and back. Front meaning that I want to make sure uh, the customers are happy, the customer are, we give them what they supposed to get. The customer needs to leave with a big smile from the restaurant. The customer needs, of course, to have a great food. So I'm in back in the kitchen, front in the kitchen. If I come in one at night, you're gonna see me uh, with an apron sometimes, you know, my sleeves up, you know, being front and back, front and back. And a lot of people, I'm gonna wear my apron. Everybody's looking at me like that. What's going on, this guy, you know, he's the owner of the restaurant and he's working in the kitchen. Yes, I have to work in the kitchen. You know, I have to show them, you know, that, you know, I'm the one who's running the back of the area. I make sure the food is nice, make sure the food is good. So since um, I'm, you know, back and front, I just go back and front. That's how I manage my whole day. Well, as a Greek restaurant, we are specialized in lamb. Uh, our lamb is a domestic lamb that we buy from here, from Colorado or California. Uh, we uh, marinated uh, around 36 hours, so our lamb is not gamey. Uh, we uh, marinated nice, uh, so the lamb is tender. Actually, you don't need to use a knife, just a fork. We have lamb shank, we have roasted lamb, we have our cleftico, uh, which is called the stolen uh, lamb. Um, we also, all those uh, items are very authentic. Very, uh, we have some garlic taste, we have the oregano. Uh, our ingredients, sometimes our spices, we bring them from Greece and to, be, to have the authentic uh, aromas and smell. Our oregano, we imported from Greece. Uh, and, and the oregano actually grows anywhere in Greece. If you go in any mountain or any um, uh, island, you just walk by and you see the oregano next to you. I remember the last time that I was there, I was just grabbing a little bit and I put it in my, my pockets, you know, so every time I just put my, my hand and smell the oregano. It smells so different. So we're using that oregano, bring it from there, so in order the food to be you know, authentic and different. Uh, besides the lamb that we are specialized, we bring uh, seafood, very fresh, daily. Uh, actually, we bring it from Greece. We have a fish, we bring it uh, from Greece, uh, lavraki or tsipura, um, dorade or uh, bronzini. We bring it uh, from Greece, believe it or not, never been frozen. We have a company, not that I bring it, we have a company that brings it here. And daily we have it very fresh and people are really are amazed. The Mediterranean Ocean or the Greek Ocean, the salt of the ocean is a little bit different. So the fish tastes different than anywhere else. Uh, so we bring it here. We have daily uh, fresh seafood also. Um, nice, tender and juicy. My father used to own a Greek winery back home. Um, so I learned a lot from him uh, by watching how they do it. Uh, so it's a good thing for me now I can combine the Greek wine with the Greek food. Nowadays, the Greek wine has developed a lot, tremendously. Uh, people, they don't expect to have any uh, good Greek wine. But back in the days, like I'm talking about up to 10 years, uh, all the Greek wines used to be the one that they make uh, per bulk. Now, <clears throat> the Greek people, they got educated and they learned a little bit better and they got advantage of our climate. We have a very good, uh, uh, big uh, Greek uh, variety, a selection of wine, uh, which is uh, my best ones. <clears throat> you can say the Asirtiko, uh, the Moscofilero, 
and then uh, we have the Nemea, all those good wines, we have them very good professionally and we can pair them with any food that we have here at the restaurant. Ελάτε στο μαγαζί μας, την Ταβέρνα Όπα, να φάτε, να διασκεδάσετε όπως το ελληνικό χωριό που έχουμε πίσω στη χώρα μας, στην πατρίδα Ελλάδα. Όπα!